Today on JIC Labs, we're going to do some replacing by utilizing the replace function in Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. Now that you have Excel open and ready to go, you're going to see we have some data set up on the screen. And we've used this data before, but we've modified it slightly. You're going to see we have first and last name, age, state, and ID number. Well, in this case, we're going to say that ID number is a critical number that you don't want everyone to have access to, whether it's a social security number, your ID number, or whatever the case may be. So today we're going to show you how to share that information, but we're going to replace some of the numbers so people are only seeing, in this case, the last three digits of this six digit number. We in the past have showed you how to find and replace. We'll put that video up here, but this is going to be a little bit different. The replace function is going to look at your string of data and say, what do you want to replace? How many characters do you want to replace? And what are you replacing it with? We're going to jump right into it. Equals replace. First thing it asks us, what's the old text or the original information? Since we're trying to redact some of the ID number information, we're going to select E3. We're going to hit comma. Where do you want to start? Well, we want to replace starting from the first character. So we're going to hit one comma. How many characters? Well, we want to replace the first three. So we're going to say three comma. And what is the new text going to be? Well, we're just going to put in three X's. So to do so, we open the quotations, three X's, close the quotations, and then close the parentheses. And then you go ahead and hit enter. And you're going to see in the fields that we're going to share, we can see Frank Smith's ID number is XXX880. Now, if we were to copy these guys down, and we can see that it has carried through. So let's come over here and show you the equation. Now keep in mind, you don't have to start with one. So let's come down here to the very last reference and we're gonna change this around a little bit. So we're gonna edit this equation and we don't wanna start with the first character. We wanna start, let's say, with number three and only do two characters. And we're gonna leave the last field, three X is the same and we're gonna hit enter. And what does that look like? So. As you can see, now we have an additional character in this field. The reason why we picked three X's in our original example in line three is because we were replacing three characters. But in our last example on line 13, we're only replacing two characters and we've had the three X's. And then now we see we have an additional character. But this is just an example to show you how you can use the replace function. You don't have to replace the first three or the last three. You can replace any part of that string. Hopefully you're able to use this replace equation to help you redact some of your data or however you would like to view it. Now keep in mind, as we said, if you pick three characters, you don't have to have three characters here. Let's do one more example and we'll just pick line eight. We're only going to pick one X but we're still gonna replace those three. So we're gonna come over here and we're going to edit this equation to down to the one X. So now you're gonna see we have one X followed by one, one, one. So it took the first three characters and replaced them with the one X. However formatting you wanna choose, it's up to you. We chose to use the three X's cause that's the number of fields that we are actually replacing. But we just wanted to show you some couple of variations. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to leave the comments down below. Also keep in mind, we'll make this file available. So keep an eye on the comments where we'll share our OneDrive link where you can download all of these files and practice along with us. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Today on JIC Labs, we're gonna look at the, what, the, what are we doing? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and close out the print. Send what the hell?